Okay, so we need to uh, go back and find more land. Hello, guys, and welcome to Drex and the Dark Eye Part 8. We've pretty much finished up uh, this uh, entire area. We just need to find more land uh, at the uh, Temple of Boron over here. Uh, get the final side quest from her as well as uh, from Talia and then we should be all good to return to Verdak so uh, let's see here uh, ta -ta -ta, Moreland, no, Moreland first then Talia I wanna go and uh, clear out and sanctify those tombs and then go uh, get Talia and do whatever she needs doing. <laughs> Let me see. Can I pickpocket her? Quick save. Come on, Gladys. Do your thing. Yes. Ah, and it was <laughs> just a leaf of whirlwind. Anyway. Greetings in the name of Boron. Ugh, so bright in here. Now that Burgess is no more, an oppressive silence has spread through the village. I already miss our heated discussions in some curious way, but enough of that. Please accept this magic potion as a modest symbol of my gratitude for my release. Forgive me for my disturb for disturbing you once again. You could do me one more favor before uh, you leave Moorbridge, naturally, if only if you agree. I'll be happy to listen to your proposal. What does it involve? It's about the devastation that the undead have wrought recently. The necromancer released a great deal of evil power and many burial places now have been affected by it. It would require someone to purify these places with the aid of holy water so that the dead may rest in peace once more. And how exactly does such a cleansing take place? There are altar niches in many of these tombs. Uh, they must be sprinkled with holy water so that they will be able to receive Boron's blessing again. Before that can happen, however, the evil power in those uh, uh, buried there will manifest itself in order to prevent you from carrying out the cleansing. Yeah, so basically she's saying that the skeletons and undead would come back. Uh, from their grave and try to stop us but since we already dealt with them there shouldn't be that much of an issue now so be prepared for further battles with undead i understand first defeat uh, the dead who are possessed by the darkness in order to break the power of evil over the altar with the help of boron's blessing just so i'll mark the crypts location on your map so that you can re uh, release truly all of them from evil you can count on me Theon Portland. now all i require is the holy water here, please take two vials. It would uh, be best if you got started as soon as possible. Born and be what with you. you. Want to talk about? I would like to buy some herbs and healing remedies from you and learn a thing or two as well. Gladly. Uh, what can you teach me? Let's see. Uh, nothing that we don't know already. In the name of Boron, how can I be of assistance? Uh, I would like to buy some herbs. So gladly, I'm sure. Huh? and junk just junk okay let me just sell her some of the stuff that i don't need for amazon pride uh yeah yeah <laughs> mm, volcanic glass dagger yep i'm one with the moment I'm gonna keep those on her. Uh, she has those already. Listen up, everyone. All right. Yeah. Well, that should be all. Um, a builder is waiting for you at the abandoned hut on stilts. His name is Brito Bento. Brito Bento doesn't sound familiar. What can he want with me? He was enlisted with the task of bringing you a package of utensils you needed as a courier of sorts. The bailiff uh, mistook him for the undead, for an undead, and was uh, about to execute him on the spot. 
as an undead monstrosity. As he just barely escaped uh, that fate with his life, he doesn't dare come uh, into the village anymore. He asked uh, me to tell you so kind and uh, fetch the package from him there as an exception. Oh, then I know what's about the poor fellow. I'll see to him later and collect the package. What do you want to talk about? Uh, okay, would you please explain to me exactly how to go? Ah, no, I don't need that. Um, I took two grave robbers uh, by surprise in one of the crypts. They lost uh, their lives in the ensuing battle. I took their loot. I think uh, this is best if you have it for safekeeping. Okay, grave jewelry. That's me close. I thank you for your confidence in me. I'll see to it that everything is returned to its proper place. Unfortunately, I cannot reward you for your high-mindedness. Don't concern yourself about that. That the state of affairs is returning to order is reward enough for me. I'm glad that you see it that what way. What do you want to talk about? Uh, okay. So another quest completed. Magician's worries. Go see Brido Bento. Okay, I'm gonna do that at the end. Okay. Hmm? Have you already seen it? Morland is back. Yes. Then what are you still saying here? I thought you were only supposed to see her until she had returned. Hmm? It's alright. I hope you have a peaceful watch. <laughs> or fool. Right, let me uh, get into the muddy boot. And see what Talia is uh, up to. Celebrate the return of our good friend Morland. The next round is on the house. Nice. Ah, it's you again. Thank you for bringing our good Morland home safely. What can I do for you? I'm neither high nor thirsty. Do I have a question? Are there any people who should be mentioned? Did we work more with? No, done it already. Uh. What do you want now? I come here to drink, not to talk. Thanks for the round. Now push off. I remember him asking me to talk to him only after the undead situation has been solved. So let's ask him about that treasure of his. Any hint uh, about how I can convince you? No idea, in any case, I'm not convinced yet. Just a minute, that's not right. You brought Morland back. Safely. Uh, selflessly. Not every stranger would do that. Then listen to me good, but first promise uh, to go 50-50 with me if you are successful. Alright, it's a promise. I'll get straight to the point. I don't want to bore you with the uh, unessentials. Well then, my great-grandfather wants... <laughs> bore me as a Goes on to ramble some shit. Great grandfather once had an unbelievable stroke of luck and found a treasure map. It is supposed to lead to the treasure trove of a band of thieves that was very successful in this region decades ago. Yes, please go on. Unfortunately, the map disappeared before my great grandfather could start the search. My father confessed to me in his deathbed some time ago that he helped himself to the map as a small boy to craft the pirate ship with it. Pretty ironic. Oh yes, damn it. <laughs> the map uh, had been in the house all those years and no one had found it. My father never paid the treasure any mind. He was not uh, of the opinion that money was anything useful. Now I have the map, but I can't make heads nor tails of it because I can't read. Well, not surprised about that there, bud. <laughs> Couldn't you have shown Borlin the map or someone else who can read? Precisely not that. I don't trust anyone else. Well, I do trust Morland, but she was uh, not delighted about helping me with any of my shady dealings. Uh, what's shady about a forgotten treasure being uh, <laughs> brought into the open? Everyone except Morland wanted to help, especially the bailiff. Naturally, the kind of help that doesn't really help. Uh, then give me the map and I'll decipher it. Uh, we'll decipher it together. I don't have the map with me, but I'll tell you where I uh, have it hidden. You can go fetch it without uh, letting anyone follow you. I'll try to make sense of it. When you have the treasure, come back to me and we'll split it. Okay. That sounds like a fair-minded agreement. Where did you hit the map? During my uh, search of the treasure, I discovered a cave under the village tower ruins. 
on the north coast. It's a more it's more of a shelter than a cave. There are some crates there which contain nothing of value, only privy uh, provisions for me and my treasure hunt. The map will be hidden in a whiskey bottle, which is in a corner behind some stones. Uh, it is the driest place in the cave. No one would find the map by accident, that's for sure. Unless uh, he was thirsty. Yeah, thirsty for alcohol, <laughs> which makes you more thirsty if you drink so <laughs> that beats the purpose. So behind the stones, I'll uh, get started in research. Is there anything else I should know? No, nothing else. That's all left is to all that's left is to wish you luck. There's some sour cream to left. Okay. Well, I do love me my uh, treasure hunt, so I'm gonna get on that. But first, <laughs> there you are again. At least the undead uh, pestilence seems to have uh, warded off. Es escort me to the crypt where my curse began, then I'll also fulfill my part of the agreement. I think I'll help you. So the agreement stands, then uh, show me where the crypt uh, at issue is, and I'll escort you there. Very glad, Rikaf. <laughs> Let's not tarry here any longer. Escort Talia safely through the moor. <laughs> Watch her get killed and I fail the quest. <laughs> nah, that's not gonna happen. We'll be sure of that. Okay. So we'll complete multiple quests. Mm, same sort of kind of at the same time. Uh, I don't want to waste any more time in here than I have to. So, I do know where that cave is. With the resources, so but let me just select it properly. Old treasure map, find the treasure map. Yep, there it is. And he said that the map is in a whiskey bottle, so here somewhere. Yep, treasure map. Solve the riddle of the rhymes. First rhyme, second rhyme, first rhyme. These are the first lines of the map. Follow only the hilt where the free swords lie. No matter how high obstacles may arise, continue straight on as the crow flies. At the fourth, then stay and understand the words. Free where the free swords lie. No matter how high obstacles may arise, continue straight as the crow flies. Right. So I think I need to find a tomb with an epitaph on it. At the fourth, then say and understand the words and read the words on it. See where they lead me. And if I'm not mistaken... This isn't marked on the map, so I wouldn't know by visualizing the map where that would be. So, yeah, that's going to be a bit tricky, but nothing we can't solve. Uh, oh, wow, one endurance, 20 vitality. Can you pick pocket hurt again? Let's see. No, we cannot. Let's go for the first script here. Uh, let me actually increase then. Okay. Uh, The moment. Let's see what animal we get now. Oh, a black wolf. Okay. With better stats than uh, the one before. So that's cool. So that's still another giant crab. Not interested in fighting that now. 
Oh, more skeletons. Ooh, that's not. <laughs> nice game of fighting chairs. Uh, hold up, let me uh. Follow me. Etragromaton. Make sure the uh, Palia doesn't die. Honestly, didn't expect Attack. more enemies around here. Like, I was pretty sure from my old playthroughs years ago. Then again, memory does have a funny way of playing tricks on you. That, uh... Oh well. Eh, anyway. We'll just get her back to life. Yep. Okay, so if she dies... We uh, we don't uh, fill the quest, okay? And then again, I don't think the game was meant to be played like this, like to have dire consequences of this kind. Of that. Fine. All right. Tetragrammaton. Let me do that. Okay, everyone is doing good. Alter ball. Nice. Don't remember if I uh, looted everything, but I think I did the first time around. So, yep. Yeah. Da -da -da -da. Yep. Let's go outside. <clears throat> Next, let's go to these two here. Do kind of like a U shape. Oh, wait. Went the wrong way. My bad. Oh, more undead. I can just go around them, I guess. Nobody should uh, live to see their ch uh, child's demise sleep now, my son. Hardest in Boron's arms. Eww. That's nasty. Hmm. Okay, let's get this one. Okay, so there's still 
Okay, and I can't interact with the ball if I'm in combat to, let's say, <laughs> theoretically insta-kill those guys by uh, <laughs> death by holy water. Give the heavy stuff to Rolana. Listen up, everyone. Ah, nice. <laughs> this was unlocked by uh, That's me. making the tomb holy again, or cleansing it. So that's cool. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. I didn't see that coming. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. Um, hold up. Oh, yeah, there's no need to cure her poison because she's not. Wait, is this poisoned as well? Yep. God damn it. <laughs> Guess we needed a uh, bigger perception value in order to uh, see this. Wait, how is our perception? An eight, a five, a five, a seven. Yeah, not quite high. Then again, I don't want to increase it just now. Because I have better stuff to get, such as more combat abilities and the like, with the points that I currently have. So I will decide on what to better spend the points on once we get back to Ferdok. Okay, let's get in this one. <clears throat> oh yeah, it pauses for every uh, um, for party member Pride. joining the combat. I could just deactivate that so actually yeah i'm gonna do that just that let's see options uh combat auto pause uh pause function deactivated pause on combat release pause every combat round pause every combat round uh i think that's okay <laughs> Yeah, so I can just manually pause it and not uh, let the game decide when to pause or not. There we go. Done. Oh, this was uh, already looted. And no, it's not the uh, special one where I could interact with the mouth. I think the one where I need to interact with the mouth on the sarcophagus uh, culture is the one where uh, I will find the treasure. Free, one, two, three. 
Yeah, I'll need to um, figure out the clues later on. Maybe in the next part if I uh, don't have enough time in this one. We'll see. Hello. <laughs> Rock goblin. <laughs> Gobble up these Let me do hits. Uvaruach, <laughs> speak, friend. And that's that. Looted. <clears throat> hmm. Nothing here. Uh, okay. Uh, let's go take care of these harpies as well. Why not? We could use the feathers to make some uh, potent arrows later on. Three hundred something seconds on the wolf. Okay, that's good. Listen up, everyone. For Amazon Pride. There we go. Okay, we looted everyone. Let's see how many feathers. Eight feathers. Listen that up, should be everyone. just fine. Um, <laughs> let me heal everyone up in here. Oh, I cannot. Uh... That's me. Hmm? Oh, oh, okay. Rocks. I cannot use physical uh, remedies. To cure the poison on the wolf, but I can use a spell. All right. There we go. Very good. <laughs> Nameless mercenary. Killed by a foul poison, he would still be alive if he had gone to see the healer. Instead, he hugged his friends a he dug his friends a grave and then lay down to die alongside them. Hmm. Quite uh, honorable, I'd say. Wait, what did that say? Um, where was it? All treasure map. First rhyme. At the fourth, they stay and understand the words. Okay, so one. Mercenary cutthroat power. Beer artist. Righteous blade. One, two, three. Would, could this be the fourth one? This was the name he gave himself. I never uh, knew him by his real name. Slow to move, but a fast spellcaster killed along with his two companions by an undead swamp creature. 
Oh no, doesn't sound like a... Like a treasure clue. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm sure we'll find that at some point. Okay, let's see here. Anything to bell? Yes, we do. Follow me. Uh -huh. There we go. Dang. Four five D buffs. Let's go. Holy shit, he's so resilient out of ammo. Um Can you use other weapons? Um For Amazon Pride. Or should I Oh wait, Rulana is out of uh Oops, he's out of uh arrows herself. Hunting arrow Oh, we need wood glue, goose feathers. Ah, we don't have the required materials to make more arrows. Good choice. So let me just give her this at least. It's something. I don't know if she'll be able to use it effectively, but yeah, she doesn't even have the skill to do that. Yeah, <laughs> it, this is gonna suck. This is gonna suck major balls. Uh, Let's go. Anyway. It is what it is. Stone mouth. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't do anything right now. It should do... The missing piece. Uh, wait. What is most obvious should not be heard, but the true wisdom is revealed on the frame. Upon finishing in this space, contemplate stone wheels in a new place. Halves are whole, remember this, friend, else your journey will soon find an end. The pearly snake on a naked stone writes venom soaked. In the right place softly stroked she smiles at the brave but touching her brings death to the knave okay so something poisonous bottom of the bottom edge of the map is torn it may not mean anything but somehow i have a nasty feeling that the fourth frame is missing at least hmm yeah I might just look this up <laughs> if I uh, don't manage to solve the riddle on my own, but I'm sure I can. I'll just need to think and remember. Uh, let's get all of them in position here. Let me do that. Listen up, everyone. Ha! Here we go. Um. Okay, that's one. I'll take care of that. Avenging Kirkland. Oh, yeah. Drink blood, my sword. Get that one as well. And it's done. Empty. I just like to double check just in case. <clears throat> Hello. 
<laughs> game. Okay. How many more do we have? Uh, two or three? Yeah. Oh no, actually two more crypts. Nice. And one of which is the uh, one where we need to uh, complete the quest for uh, uh, Thalia over here. Uh, let me just go around. Go around here. And let me fight those undead as well. Why not? Listen up, everyone, for Rondra. Anyone with the Oh, come on. Uh, let me summon another wolf. Yeah. I'm just gonna keep Good spamming shit. this. Does the spell keep failing? It's so weird. <laughs> Anywho, I'll take care of that. Everything seems to be in order. Oh, uh, where to? Here. <clears throat> okay, we've got that done. We have these two here. I think I'm gonna um, record and post the second part tomorrow For Amazon Prime. in order to keep that um, order. Yeah. I mean, not, not the second, like the next part, you know what I mean. Uh, in order to keep yeah. that... Uh, uh, thing that I said of two clips per week, one hour each, because I didn't really have that much time in the past few days to do work and some personal stuff, but it's okay. Um, Falia, <laughs> she's stuck right there, like watching the corner. Good choice. Okay. A good parry, Hurulana. Nice. Yeah. Sometimes the the characters forget that they are in combat and stop attacking. And then again, it's because uh, uh, Gwendala over here doesn't know how to use the. Uh, Staff, like she doesn't have the skill, so she won't be auto attacking due to that. <laughs> okay, all good. Let's get on this one. 
Oh, nice. Level 6. Let's go. How many pieces are... Wow. 1,200. And something. So, that's cool. Here, <coughs> I managed to lock the door just in time before the wandering skeletons got to me last time. I've got the key here. I'll unlock it when you're ready. <coughs> uh, not yet. Uh, please don't uh, detect too long. Okay. Let me just... Hmm. Fast talk. Yeah, I want to get some points into this one. And human nature as well, because I f feel like... Those are going to be important in this situation. And I'm going to leave it like that for now. Yep. We should be good. Let me auto save. Uh, yes. How <coughs> uh, we should go to the crypt now. All right, but be careful. Who knows what we would expect behind the door after all these years? Well, we shall find out, won't we? Come on then. Nice. Alric Farfara. A ghost. The hat? The blade? No. Yes. Alric. He's, he's still alive? Oh, no. That's impossible. <laughs> what a coincidence. Just the word that always came to mind when I was thinking about your cruel prank. Did my precious mom really find her way back after all these years? You recognize me? What's happened to you? Let me think. Uh, where best to start? Oh, I know. How do you like the place where I just barely defeated the skeletons with great effort only to realize that I would die miserably of starvation because a certain someone locked the exit? But I... Uh, would I... Uh, I thought you were already dead. I panicked. Uh, I was just trying to save my own life. <laughs> your life? I had no idea you dragged yours around with you in a linen sack. <laughs> or uh, wait, it was our joint Damn, he's savage. In there perchance, which we plan to share along with the dangers that will cross our path on the way to it? I, uh, yes. Should your death have been in vain then? But the necklace from the hoard turned out to be cursed. I paid for my actions. And anyway, you would have done exactly the same thing. It's an interesting question. One that I've had plenty of time to think about. Perhaps I have done exactly the same. But be that as it may, the past is the past. As long as we're being so frank about the error of our ways, the curse that is upon you was carried out into the world on my dying breath. <laughs> Who'd have thought it would fall onto such fertile ground here? And the most delicious part is only I can dispel it. But I leave the choice to you. Either you keep me company down here until the end of your days, or you hold to your end of the bargain and give me my share of the loot. Spend the rest of my life in this smelly hall with you, or give you your share? <laughs> what kind of choice is that supposed to be? If you're behind this curse, you'll know very well that I have no means of ever paying you off. Besides, no choice is all you should be entitled to, actually. <laughs> However, you are clever enough not to come here alone. So the possibility of being aided by your uncursed escort remains. You there, I, the mortal remains of Alric Farfara, ask you. 
Are you willing and able to take on this death of the perfidious but enchanting Thalia? I don't expect a large fortune. For Goron from Gizzi, these useless items, they were not worth much. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I do remember this guy, and we will find his very lively self in uh, Dragon Sang the River's Time whenever we will get on playing that, but at some point in the future we will. So, the choice is we either pay Falia's share of uh, the treasure or leave her to die here. <laughs> Uh, alongside Elric. Only 37 ducats. I think that uh, should be possible for someone like you, even though more would have been better. I was always an honest rogue. 37 ducats. I even have that much with me, and I am also willing to give them to you. Here, take them. I have to think it over first. Please, you can abandon me to my fate. I will repay the amount as soon as possible. It's not as easy as that for me, that you decided your comrade in arms uh, like that bestows you with far more than merely the appearance of being unsavory. I'll forget the girl, you won't have to wait uh, all that long. But I... alright then, I'll be patient and wait until you have made your decision. It doesn't even uh, suit you badly, dearest, that you can't uh, extricate yourself from uh, the matter without paying the piper for once. <laughs> but this is just as a side note that is completely void of gloating. Now that the business is at hand, you take your time in reaching your decision, and Falia stays here. I'm sure she has her Bolton playing cards with her. <laughs> hmm. Escort Falia says fish for the more. Okay, we did that. Redeem the cursed one. A hostage for eternity. So. Alaric Farfar, Raph does not seem to be so all-consuming to me that it could prevent him from entering Boron's kingdom. Maybe the magic from the magic wars still lurking the moor has forced the former rogue's undead existence. He will not find peace before he has received his share of the booty. Valia was left behind as a security for the booty that Alaric Farfar didn't receive back then. Actually, he only lays claim to a ridiculously small amount, but if I should pay out to him, then I doubt I'll see my money again. Yeah... It's a, uh, it's a tricky situation, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, great! For Amazon Pride! Yes! Then again... Let me do that! 27... Follow me! Ducats is not that much, but it's still a sum to be considered. Oh, that failed. Oh, great. I'll take care of that. Uh, let me see if I have anything else right here. Uh, yeah, oh, shit. Combat. Dude, you're undead. Do whatever the Me. fuck you want. It doesn't, it doesn't even me? matter. God damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Holy damn. But, of course. Good choice. It's no wonder that he was gazing at this beautiful necklace of her. Totally looking at the necklace. Totally. Totally. Absolutely. No doubt about it. Get that fire moss. Mm, let's see here. That should be all the crypts, right? All the crypts have been purified. All the crypts which Moorland marked on the map have been purified. I should return to the Temple of Boron until the news of my success. Sanya. Yeah, 
<laughs> can I? Oh, I can actually pickpocket him. Oh, it failed. Let me try that again. Um, dexterity. Sure. Mm, can actually quit and give her a little more points and increase the haggle level as well because we can always use more haggling points me. to get better prices sell for more and buy for cheap you know how it is okay yes. let's see here how about now I still fail hmm is it really? Wait, she was about to say something. Follow me. No? Hmm. Like, I really want to pickpocket him, but... Easy. On my way. Is it really not possible? So what does this use? Dexterity... Intuition and cleverness. Let me see if it works now. And if it doesn't... Yeah. Still nothing. <laughs> Maybe he's... Uh, he cannot be pickpocketed. Who knows? Anyway, yeah. I've tried that long enough. Let's talk to him. You procured the gold for me, where, uh, whereupon I finally have peace. And for good measure, the accursed jewelry disappears and an Anna Haramtalia goes her merry way. Everyone benefits, everyone is happy. What do you say? Here's the sum you demand. It is for decades a rounded odd figure. Or right, then uh, I will have to call for you shortly. And don't harass Talia too much. To be frank, I feel that the current circumstances are more appropriate as an atonement for Talia. So I can't guarantee whether or not you will get your gold. I'm all for clarifying the matter directly, an honest contest, or let us call it a duel. Could I ask you a few questions? Uh, let's get some information out of him if we were going to heal him, kill him either way, so... Because <laughs> I want to kill him and get his sword, maybe. Please do, what purpose does this uh, claptrap serve? Gold or falia? Yeah, that's all there is to it. Perhaps we could... No, we can't. You're only wasting your breath with your bargaining efforts. Now go and fetch the gold or leave me alone with Falia. I want to know one more thing before I go. I'm thinking my leave for the time being. Oh no. Uh, by fix, you are a chatterbox. What else then? Uh, I'm more focused on playing the matter directly. An honest contest or that's called a duel. That the uh, kind of circumstances are more appropriate as an atonement for Talia. Atonement? Uh, no. Let's see. No, no, no. That's not how it works. You cannot defeat me down here in the crypt. For the curse doesn't only affect our most beloved Falia, but also keeps me undead. It would be another uh, matter entirely up there and out in the open, but I like that version even less, understandably. A spineless skeleton? Spineless? Hmm, only if it uh, rounded it to my advantage. In this case, it is rather a, a dearth of stupidity. If I lost your duel, I would have neither riches nor my falia. Not an attractive deal, sorry. If it, there isn't uh, to be a contest, uh, then one more word. By fix your chatterbox, what else then? Hmm.
To be frank, uh, I feel like... Oh. Is that supposed to be a joke? If so, then I don't share your sense of humor. So she's to stay with me for eternity? Please, I would like that as well. Perhaps even prefer it. Reunited with a treasure either way. But we had an agreement. You can't just leave me here. Please tell Erlik that you were teasing. I'll think about it. You don't. Uh, if you don't like it here, my precious Valia, you are free to flee the script at any time. And possibly have uh, this curse hanging on f me forever? That is the limit. Yes, sir. The utter limit. I'm not moving from the spot until you have fulfilled your part of the bargain. As you wish. It is and remains your own decision. Truly spoken. And now be gone. Fali and I have a few things to uh, discuss. Not so fast. There is one more thing. Can I... Oh. Hmm. Let me think a minute. Hmm. No. And? Shh, don't disturb me. I'm thinking. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Everything has been. Hmm. Okay, so there's, there's really no way into fighting him? Hold up. Promises a press. I don't want to beg, but don't uh, tell it too long. That was all a long, long time ago. My occasional outbursts to be long unequivocally to the past. Besides, it was only high spirited in my lifetime, never short tempered. Hmm. At long last, I'll sweep my soldiers in more of things than we be called. Okay, so... There's no way to combat him? Oh well. It is what it is. The necklace, alas, it's vanished. Oh, thank you so much. You saved my life. I'll be eternally grateful to you. I'll give soft stones belong and give them to you at the tavern. Please meet me there. Just a moment, and if uh, that has vanished as well, who will give me a guarantee that you won't simply take off again? There are no grounds for concern. I won't trick you. Please take the rest of the equipment that belonged to my former comrade as a deposit. It isn't much, but Alaric's rapier has his pride and joy. Was his pride and joy? That alone is worth a fortune. Take Alaric's rapier. Although it was his proudest position, wouldn't you think that's inappropriate? You have some audacity to give me the cold shoulder as if I were f a filthy grave robber? I declined, and you should be ashamed. Hmm, actually a pleasant thought, so Eric's blade will be brandished in new adventures. Besides, her robber thief also represents a certain type of justice. A robbed thief represents a type of justice, you say? Hmm, <laughs> inappropriate. He filched it himself. His pride was more likely placed in the fact that the uh, capper succeeded rather than uh, because of the blade itself. Who knows, maybe I'll find it uh, its rightful owner. We'll find its rightful owner. If it still means so much to you by then, you can give him, uh, you can give it back to him yourself. I'll go fetch some stone belonging. I'll see you later at the tavern. Right. Okay. So that was, uh. That was weird. Like, I could have swore. I could have swore that. You could battle this guy. Hm, anyway. Whoever Elric Farfara may have acquired uh, this blade. No, however, sorry. I can't speak today or any other day. However, Elric Farfar have acquired this play, it's only the most well-balanced rapiers in the Horasian Horus realm and the feast for the eyes to boot. Let me see, how does this look? Hmm, that doesn't look half bad. 
This is gonna look nice on uh, Draenor. Anyway, guys, with that being said, we are going to uh, conclude part 8 right here. And most likely than not, we will see each other again in part 9 tomorrow or sometime by the end of this week. See you then and take care.